Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Just wanted to make this quick video to inform you how I manage my servers, my VPS servers. Anything that I need to make a secure shell connection to. Basically, I use Termius for that because I use the free version, but you can also use the paid one, of course. There's nothing stopping you from that. And sorry if you heard a bong, that was my head hitting the microphone. Now, what is Termius? It's basically a system, as I've said before, to manage your host. So you can give them a specific group. You can add them to that group. Then you can say, okay, I have this much host in that specific group. All fine and dandy. You can give them, like you can see here, you can give them nice handle tags as well if you would like. You can arrange this view in a grid and a list if you prefer that. Whatever you like, that's just view stuff. You can also do port forwarding. I don't use it for that, but it's definitely possible. And then of course you can just manage your servers. Now if you get the paid version, you can also get SFTP with this. I don't use this SFTP client because I use CyberDuck for that. It's much handier for me, but this allows me to quickly open a connection to any server that I want. For example, if I close my database connection here, I can just open a connection by double clicking it and I'm connected. Bam, that's it. You have other programs for this as well. Don't get me wrong, but somebody asked me to make a video about how I managed this stuff. Well, now you know, this is basically how I manage. The cool thing is also you can have it do a specific command when you log in, for example, navigate to a specific directory, such as your HTML directory, if you have a web server. All really handy and useful stuff. Uh, let's show you guys adding a host real quick. So if we have a new host, as you can see, we have a label, a specific address. We can add that to groups if we like. And we can add a tag or create one. And then we can also see uh, enable backspace as control H. We can share that specific host. That's possible. So that's why I like this as well. And then you can add secure shell. You can put that on or you can use mosh. Uh, it adds for a username. You can use a specific identity as well if you have an identity set. Or you can use a key if you prefer a key. Then you can use the team whichever team you prefer. Uh, does it really matter? No, it's just a, a personal preference. We all know that black and green is like the best color in the world, but if you're like want to be inferior, that's your choice, of course. Then we have the character set, which can be used. Also really useful if your FTPS is packing a different character set. Then we can also enable Telnet for that host. As you can see, quite a lot of options there. Now, I'm not going to take you through the entire program, although I don't think there's much more that we can do here. But just so you guys know, that is how I manage my VPS servers. Thanks a lot for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.